Alright, hello everyone and welcome to my new Fallout 4 series of Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3, where today I am so very excited to be starting up on this final installment of the Sim Settlements 2 series, where we are going to actually be going to war with the Gunners in the, you know, final culmination of this whole wonderful Sim Settlement 2 story arc that I have just absolutely adored it's been such a great story and considering i'm a person who doesn't really like dealing with settlements the sim settlements 2 settlement system has also been a welcome addition and yeah i can't wait to see how it all improves and how the story does progress and finish though i'm also incredibly worried about the whole war thing because with my luck i'm gonna screw up something horribly bad but we'll see we'll see now before we actually do get going on the story i got a few things to go over one is that i am so happy that one of the biggest problems i had with chapter two of this series has been fixed you guys know me like i just said a moment ago i don't like building settlements and sim settlements 2 has been you know a nice addition to things because it makes it better but I still don't really care for building settlements, and thus why I tried back in Chapter 2 to start up a number of settlements like the Starlight Drive-In that was going to be just purely going off of, you know, an AI mayor and one of the pre-made city plans so that I didn't really have to worry about anything. I just got it all started and then I would let it go. But it didn't work. All the settlements I tried doing that with, mainly again, Starlight drive in here, just never functioned. It placed all the plots around, but then none of the settlers would actually build them or do anything. That has been fixed. I've been in the game for a couple of hours now, just making sure everything's working fine and reintroducing myself to its mechanics. And it's been great seeing over in the top left-hand corner all the little uh, pop-ups showing like, oh, hey, Starlight Drive-In built this new building or this building, etc." So we actually do have more settlements that are functional now. So not only do we have the settlements that I made and tried to let the AI take care of back in Chapter 2, I actually went ahead and uh, doubled our number of Sim Settlement 2 settlements in the world because I figure we're probably going to need them for the war considering our new martial building plots that we're going to be having with this. So yes, we have a lot more settlements now. They're all perfectly functioning i actually just recently changed over gray garden over to one and they're happier than ever look at that 65 percent it's great and even though we did have our one settlement i was managing myself of sanctuary yeah i turned it over to the ai too because their happiness was at like 50 percent and it was going very poorly but i handed it over to the ai and look at that they're at 72 percent now <laughs> I'm just, I'm really bad with settlements. So yes, all of my settlements are currently being managed and planned out by the in-game things. And we have more, I think, I think around about doubled the number of them. So hopefully we should be good to go with that. One new issue that I've encountered though, I'm actually not entirely sure. I need to look this up off cam. If it's from chapter two and we just never encountered it or if it's new to Chapter 3. But here in GNN, we now also have uh, some problems we have to manage, like infestations of mole rats and rad roaches, as well as the occasional fire that may break out. I actually think there's still one going on in here. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> They're supposed to come and put it out, but no one seems to be coming to put this one out. It's been going for about two in-game days now. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I keep wandering around in GNN as I'm, you know, re-familiarizing myself with the place and hearing people with fire extinguishers everywhere. I'm like, oh god, what have I done? Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a new thing to me that's worrisome. Hopefully I can figure that out off camera, but um, oh well. Now, I am a little bit worried about some bugs I have been encountering too, but a lot of them are minor, so hopefully they're not going to be an issue. The biggest problem I'm having now, and we should move on to it because, well, we're past, oh, oh boy, we're almost five minutes in and I haven't actually done anything for Chapter 3 yet. Uh, that bug I have encountered involves Chapter 3. It hasn't started. I've been playing in this game for about two in-game weeks or so, building more settlements, etc., and doing other things, and been in here for hours of real-world time. 
and the chapter 3 mission hasn't popped. Now, to get it to work, so if you're having this issue too, you are required to have finished a couple of uh, missions in the game. So you have to have beat Remote Management uh, from Sea to Glowing Sea, as well as the main storyline for Chapter 2, Commonwealth Rising. And once you finish those, you're supposed to either fast travel or be somewhere out in the world and you'll get a call over the HQ radio. Yeah, that hasn't happened. I've been around the Commonwealth a lot, uh, and that's been problematic. I've been getting quite worried, but thankfully, other people have been having that same issue and found a solution on the Nexus. Some people figured out the uh, quest code, and I just tested it here a moment ago before starting recording, and it is working. So if you download Chapter 3 and have this same problem as me of the new chapter just not starting, this is the code you want right here. And that will get things going. So in fact, let's go to that now because, boy, we really should start actually doing something. Oh, there we are. And yeah, start that. And it won't actually start until I do head outside. So let's just pop out into the Commonwealth real quick. And we should get called, I believe, I think it was Aiden that I saw pop up on the radio. And that'll get things going. I do still have some more to go over of what I've been doing off camera. But we'll we'll do that later. We'll do that later. I didn't realize I was rambling on for so much at the beginning. But hey, yeah, that happens a lot with my videos. Especially when it's a... Uh, you know, something like this, a continuation of a longer running series. I got things to talk about. <laughs> but there we go. Yep, speak with Aiden. I've lost my UI and control. There we go. We need you back at HQ. Back at HQ? Magnificent. Is there some kind of problem? Is there some kind of problem? There's been an incident. I'll explain once you're here. Got it. I really wish you would have given me some more, but okay. I'll be right there. All right. So our new quest is Flickering Lights. Check in with HQ. Ha ah, boy, I hope I didn't screw up something with the power. <laughs> no, nah, it's Aiden. It's going to be a security issue. So back in we go. And I'm assuming up at the conference room upstairs, that's where we'll find him probably arguing with Jake as per usual in these sorts of things. But yeah, let's get going with flickering lights. I'm so excited. I have so loved the story that they've put together here for Sim Settlements 2. You know, chapter one was great, you know, just sort of easing you into the system, you know, build the new settlements, a little bit of an intro of things going down with the gunners, and then chapter two, bam, it all escalates to the point of you taking over GNN here, and now we're heading to war. Yay! <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, there's still a lot we're going to have to do. Oh, I haven't even really touched the new Marshall plots. When I started up the game with the mod installed... Uh, there were a load of new things that unlocked, like new city plans for new areas uh, that we hadn't had city plans for before. Uh, there were new upgrades that we've unlocked, new martial plots. I think there were some new farming plots, too. I don't know. God, that fire. I don't know if those are new new or if I just finally unlocked them. But nonetheless, I'm excited for new farms which I believe Sanctuary, now that it's being managed properly by the AI, uh, already built the more advanced farm, so that's pretty good. Which, at some point, I gotta go over there. I set the AI in charge of everything, and I haven't gone back since, so I don't know what it looks like. We'll do that at some point on the series, uh, and hopefully that'll be a fun surprise. Oh, no, God, no, they were actually downstairs. I just expected it to be up here. <laughs> Whoops! And I didn't pay attention because, of course, I didn't. All right, well, over this way. And in the main room, y'all? No, further back, further back. There we go. Oh, oh, why are you guys talking back here in the, oh, back in the dark? Oh, thank you're here. It's been nonstop since you left. I mean, I've been gone for just, like, a few seconds. So, want to fill me in on what's happening? Want to fill me in on what's happening? Ever since we found out the gunners are coming back, we've been doing everything we can to prepare for them. Mm -hmm. We've got patrols watching the roads, lookout station at settlements, and every department head's been working their ass off to get the HQ ready. Okay, okay. Hell, even Mansfield's been getting his hands dirty. <laughs> That's surprising. Him crawling through the air ducts, looking for structural weaknesses. Oh, I'm sure he appreciates that. <laughs> also, Aren't I supposed to be in charge of things? Who gave you people the uh, permission to, you know, start setting up patrols and things? I wanted to do that. So, hey, where's everyone else? Where is everyone else? Right now, Teresa's out checking on some reports we keep getting in. Okay. Something about 
Strange sightings off of the coast. Oh, really? Lupe is trying to clear up some interference we keep getting on the calm array. Okay. Cassandra, as far as I know, is stockpiling medical supplies. Okay, that's a good thing, yeah. And Mansfield is nursing a twisted ankle, a result <laughs> of his air duct adventures. <laughs> oh my god, if the gunners come in on boats, I'm going to be so happy. So, you can't be serious, though. You can't be serious. According to Mansfield, shimmying through air ducts is a time-honored Vault 81 practice. Oh, oh, that's what we're Not going on sure about. I'm sure I feel about him doing it here, though. Fair, fair, fair. I figured that you can't be serious might have been the the gunner thing. But okay, so... Yeah, let's get to the one. Could you stop beating around the bush and just get to it already? Oh, right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Mansfield's impromptu spelunking, he managed to uncover... Well, uh oh how do I put this? Uncover. Oh, no. He slipped and fell through an air vent. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's not the important part. The All right, important yeah. part is where he fell. Oh, man, is a new, a new place in GNN? Go on. Go on. Mansfield found himself in a sealed-off section of the plaza behind an old bricked-up passageway. Oh, cool. The very one you're standing in front of now, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's why we're here. I thought you were being secretive. Took a few hours of him banging and yelling, but eventually someone heard him. And a couple of sledgehammer swings later, we had him free. Sweet. How's he doing? How's he doing? Well, he hurt his leg, but seemed more concerned about falling behind with his work. Yeah, that sounds like him. off his feet, a couple of stim packs, he'll be fine. A couple? Damn. So... Oh, I like this one. So, what's the issue? Well, you see... Mm -hmm. While he was trapped back there, Mansfield said he heard strange noises. Now, I figured he just got spooked by some leaky pipes or frayed power cables, so I sent down a couple of engineers to check it out. Okay. Only, they never came back. What? Oh, no! When Jake's engineers went missing, I sent down a security team. We lost contact with them, too. Holy crap! In retrospect, maybe there was a good reason that passageway was sealed. Yeah, damn. I want to go down there, find out what happened to those men. Okay. They need someone I know can handle themselves to back me up. I need you. Got it, Aiden. You got me with you. So, all right. Uh, I have some questions. We do have questions first. I always have questions. Uh, you don't have to find some. Uh, no, no, no. No, we're not clicking this, but I have questions. I have some questions first. Of course. Go ahead. Ask. <laughs> yeah. Why me? You have security. Had security. I already sent a team, and they didn't come back. You know, good point. As good as some of my men are, you're better. Darn right. That's why I want you on this. Also, what security teams? You're the only one working in security right now. Which does bring me up to another issue I've been having. Despite having enough housing in GNN, I've been unable to send more people to GNN to help bolster our numbers, which is, oof, oof, something's going weird there. I might just be messing up something. Odds are that's it, but eh, still. But hey, what's next? Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? Honestly, we've no idea. I'd say the area's been abandoned for a long time, so who knows what's down there? Best you be prepared for anything. Got it. All right, I usually am. Ish. <laughs> Is there anything else I should know? We've already lost at least five people. Five people? Well, Damn! I mean, the area below is difficult to navigate, maybe even dangerous. <laughs> also, it's pitch black down there, so you'll need a flashlight. Yeah, I got that. Hope the one on your pit boy is still working. It is, and I currently have the flashlight mod installed still. So, it should be possibly horrifying down there. <laughs> all right. That's all I needed to know. I mean, I right. really would have loved to know more. So you're ready to help find these missing men, or what? Oh, heck yeah, I'll find them. All right. I'll find them. Good. I'll head down and wait by the entrance. Don't be long. I mean, I'm just going to be right behind you. I'll personnel and bring them back, assuming they're all still, you know. I'll be waiting here. You better head down. Also, Jake, you better not have actually sent any of our named people down there, because uh, I don't got many of them. We got 16 people here. <laughs> all right, down we go. Into the sealed area. Report to the basement. Oh, but... <laughs> and then guns out. I like that that announcement was over the PA was report to the basement just then. <laughs> I didn't hear the rest because I hit the door before I realized. Uh, oh, I'm excited, though. We're getting to Chapter 3, and I'm curious what's here. I mean, I assume it's full of ghouls, which... 
Oh boy, yeah, it's dark. All, All right, right, let's move. Got it. Gun out. What gun are you carrying, buddy? What is this place? All right. I mean, why wasn't it on the building blueprints we got from the information broker? I don't know. Don't ask me, man. That is a. How was that? Oh, okay. It is gonna be horror themed. <laughs> I was just making the joke because of the flashlight, but nope, we got a horror thing going here. Awesome. Sweet. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, that was also one of our people, wasn't it? We're definitely not finding five, but hello stuff. What the? Oh, the lights were flickering. Oh yeah, the quest, the hey, quest name. See those doors? Uh huh? Looks like blast doors. The kind that only opens when they have power. Got it. Jake's engineers must have hooked them back up to the energy grid. Huh. Hmm, what? Hmm, what? Okay, open the security gate. Oh, God, where are you going over here, buddy? You going through this door? Requires key. Never mind. All right, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. There's loot. <laughs> I'm a loot whore. This needs to happen. Oh, man, is this going to be like a whole new area I'll be able to build things in in GNN? Oh, boy. I need more resources. <laughs> Plus, GNN's been real finicky for me. I've had some glitches with it ever since Chapter 2. Uh, and they seem to have continued on in Chapter 3. But, no, oh, well. We'll make it work. Nice. Noise. All right. You know what? Sure. I'll take that. I'll take that. Take those. Bobby pin. Don't need you. Well. What's my carry capacity right now? What am what I got? What do I got? Three ninety. No, I won't grab them. Also, I just noticed <laughs> the ghost image there for uh, the quest. All right. Yeah, that should have tipped me off, and it's gonna be. Gonna be a bit horror themed. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, it's the normal one. I don't think that. Oh, and you. Yeah, nothing else. Alright. Yeah, that, that thing, though, where it pulled it through before the gate closed down was pretty awesome. Alright, what else we got? Power relay coils. Yeah, nothing of value there. Yeah, no. All right, let's get it operational. Don't have the password. I can unlock this door over here. Oh, okay. Really? Why did you even tell me to go there then? Open it up. You just kicked it, huh? That's all that all, all that it required, Aiden. I mean, okay, fine, fair. Mm, this place is big. Another door here. Another requires. Hey, Aiden, you wanna you wanna kick this one too? Oh, God, there's more this way. Hello. Got some mushrooms. Non-pickable variety, though. Why'd you run out? Oh, hello, note. Oh, no, not a note. Not a note. Just a clipboard. More cans. All right, got another door here. Let me guess. Requires key. Aiden, kick that one in two, please. Why'd you go back up? The what the? Oh, Aiden, all right, fine. I'll go forward myself. Oh, jeez! <laughs> well, that's gonna crap out of me. Uh huh? How the hell did they even get up there? Let's keep moving. Oh, what the hell is in here? Oh my god, I love this quest. Well, thank god it's not anyone who's named. I can't even loot them, though, which is unfortunate. Ugh. Another key. Alright, some nice timed horror on this. <laughs> Search the body. Okay, I'll get to it in a moment. My loot horse senses are tingling over this way. A lot of duct tape. Oh, hey. Key Hanger! Huh? Aiden, are we about to get a hanger where we can have, like, vertebrates or something? Because if so, freaking sweet. I mean, I'll take all that. Don't care about that. Uh, there we are. What is it? They still breathing? Lots of blood here. They're definitely dead. Yeah. That is a lot. Looks like something attacked them. Uh-huh. They're obviously dead. But what did it? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Maybe Mansfield really did hear something down here. I mean, I'd say so. We've we've Let's had keep moving. Others we... may still be alive. Yeah, I doubt that. We've had three instances so far. One body being sucked into some air vents or something, another falling from the roof, and now this dude. Uh they're all dead. There's two more. Two more who may or may not be around. Terminal somewhere. Oh, wait. No, key. Key. <laughs> I didn't look at my icon on the map. Or compass, rather. Oh, so that's a hangar over the... Oh, my God. We're... What the hell was that sound? Oh, 
Okay, don't like that thud. Did not like that thud. All right, hangar key. Oh my god. What's going to be back here? I can't wait. Uh, Galaxy News, it's probably their, like, chopper, you know, for traffic and such. Or, well, vertebrate in this world. Oh, gun back out. We, we, you good, buddy? You got the gun! Uh, hearing things. Yeah, you're not hearing things. It was literally a thing right there. <laughs> oh my god, I love this quest. I love horror-themed quests in Fallout. Eh. I mean, there's a lot of good resources down here I'll definitely grab later, but for right now. Eh. Well, next. All right, that's four of the five. Them. Eyes open. Weapons at the ready. Uh huh. Muriel. Who the hell's Muriel? Oh God, I'm so sorry. One of well, hi. engineers. You should talk to her. Get it. Who the hell is Muriel, though? It's just so. Hold on a moment, Muriel. I got things. I'm gonna grab those. Yeah, there we are. What up? What? what? No. no, 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 no. How dare you say no to me? Uh, you okay? Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought maybe you were. Wait. You're the chief. Aiden, you're in the way. Oh, no. Oh, you, you gotta understand. I. I didn't want to. I had no choice. You didn't want to what? Uh, yeah, 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 I'll go with this. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I also forgot we're still in our police guard from the CPD. <laughs> talk, talk. No. no biting? No, no biting. Sorry. I think I'm still in shock. It trapped us. Security tried to help, but when it attacked, I've never seen anything move that fast. Neat. I panicked. I ran. Lock the doors behind me. And now, they're stuck in there with it. Oh no, because you're the only survivor left. If there were five people down here, we found four bodies. So... <laughs> yeah, just tell us what happened. It's okay. You just need to tell me what happened. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. I'm just... Just what? We were meant to be surveying this new section of the plaza. You know, checking for damage and stuff. But something started following us. First, we thought it was just our imagination. It's this this area has been sealed for years. But then, mm hmm. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah. I know this be must kind. be hard for you. Please tell me the rest. But then we saw it. We ran hid in the large room. But it was already there, waiting. It just stood there, staring. We didn't dare move. Uh-huh. Seemed like hours, but then the security team came. They saw my lights on it and it went crazy. No, I don't like light, huh? Right at us, shrieking. It sunk its teeth into me. Wait, what? I, I, I ran. I ran and I sealed the doors. I didn't want it to follow me. Honestly, probably a smart move. Oh, God. I, I trapped him in there with it. You have to save them. Please. Yeah, no, again, I mean, we were told that there were five people down here. We found four bodies. So they're all dead. But, um, yeah. You saw it? Yeah. It's... It's... Oh, God, I... I don't know what it is. It's... It's skin. The way it moved, it was unnatural. Uh-huh. And it's still in there. With the others. Oh, I can't wait to see. Also, Aiden, dear God, that silencer on your gun really needs to get out of the way of my camera angle. <laughs> Where are they holed up? It was a big room. Real high ceiling. Maybe some kind of storage? It was real messy, too. Dilapidated. I stumbled a lot as I ran. Dropped my work bag. Uh-huh. Please, they're trapped in there with that thing. You have to help. Okay, I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Oh, thank you. They did that. Take this. It's a key card. You'll need it. So did Aiden lie to? Oh wait. When I was running. 
Uh huh. And a bunch of doors slammed shut. You'll probably need the card to open them again. Yeah, fair. Oh, oh. It's, it's getting harder to breathe. Yeah, I'm so worried oh, about that bite. He's lost a lot of blood. This will take more than a stim pack to fix. We'll need medical treatment. <laughs> what do you think we should do? I would think that's obvious. We need to stabilize this guy or get him to someone else who can. Very true. Uh, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I got medical supplies. Huh. Looks like you stopped the bleeding. You should be okay for the next hour or so. Good job. Let's get going. Maybe we can find the others. Yeah, Aiden, did you lie to me then that there were only five people? You said you lost five pe Oh, maybe he just meant with the five people. Maybe he only meant... Maybe he meant just the security team five. If that's the case, then yeah, there is more. But with what he... When he said that earlier, I figured he meant all the people that were down here. Okay, so we're going that way, but... Ooh, hello, other things that are locked. So obviously, yeah, there's definitely got to be more than five, because we've now found five. Got it. So yeah, he must have just been talking about his security team. Here's some pork and beans, some good old cram. Yum. <laughs> Alright, we got another door here. Let me guess. Yep, requires key. Got it. Why a diner down here though? And store. Weird. Oh god, another body I didn't even see. Wait, so how many HQ security does this make? I don't, I think that's, hold on a moment, I gotta, I gotta know, I gotta know. <laughs> Alright, so we, the bodies, we, the, I don't know who the one got sucked into the vent was. This one was, uh, yeah, they were a repair team. So then over this way we had one... Yeah. Okay, where was the... Have I lost the thing? Hold on. Oh, yeah, it was way back that way. <laughs> the place where we got the key card for the hangar. So, we have three dead security. Alright, so maybe two more security left. Interesting. Also, didn't... Nope, that's looted. That's looted. Alright, and actually, I think this is probably going to be a good place to end it, because we are at 28 minutes here. And, oh, no. Ooh. Watch those vents. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a good place, actually, to end for today. We'll carry on from here in this fun little horror flickering lights quest as we start Chapter 3. Not what I saw coming for preparing for war with the gunners, but uh, I love it. It's great. God, I love some settlements too. But yes, hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next. But until that time, huh, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll have a good one.